What's up guys, it's Epic Rebels here on Grove Gaming. Today we are going to be playing Hellblade, Senua Sacrifice. Now I just wanted to inform you guys that I won't be talking as much during this game. Because there's a lot of talking in the game itself. And I want you guys to be able to hear what's going on and what's being said. But I hope you guys enjoy and don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a post. With that said, here it is. I never told you of the others. You hear them too, right? They've been around ever since the tragedy. That's not quite true. Some are old. Some are new. They've changed. I think the darkness changed them, just like it changed her. Can you see them? Can you see them? Can you see them? They're going to do that to you. They're watching. Stop. Can you feel them watching? They're watching her. What you thinking? there just out of sight where you're most vulnerable it's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power
You might think she's brave to go on this journey on her own. But it isn't bravery that drives her. Bravery only means something to those afraid of death. Zenua's fear runs far. What is she looking at? What is she leaving behind? I know what she's thinking. I hear her thoughts. It's not too late to get into the boat and go back. No one will judge her. No one will ever know. Oh, she heard us. There's no going back. You can't do something. Senua pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering. There's nothing to go back to, and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? Maybe you too have a part to play in this story. She needs to focus now. She needs to use her eyes. Do not forget my story, Senua. Because your darkness comes from hell, and your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hela's gate. But gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea and find a road that leads north and down through deep, dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered in gold. The path to Helheim goes from there, across the river of knives that flows from the dark world of Niflheim. Okay, so I gotta kind of stay close to those when he's talking so that I get the whole story. This is already so intense. Knives across which lies the halls of hell. The place they call Hellheim. There's no doubt about it. The source of the darkness is in Helheim. And the goddess Hela holds his soul there. Her dear beloved. Dillian. Okay, so she's on a journey to free her lover, Dillian. 
And she's left everything behind. A journey for love. The bridge to Helheim. I forget its name. She forgets too. But she does remember that only the dead may cross it. Her part wasn't so easy to forget. The old fool said there was a hidden path up to it. Let's see, shall we? Okay, so we got another one of these stones. Let's see what happens. The Northmen speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of earth, harvest, wind, and sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim. And that is where you must travel. I love how these voices are so supportive of me. Just drop down. What's the down? Why did she do that? She shouldn't have done it. She can't go back now. <laughs> no, this is it. The hidden path. Tell me your stories again, old friend. I'm listening. The runes seal the gates to hell. Focus your inner eye. And you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. I can see one. Hold it in your mind's eye. Find one like it to open the gate. Find one like it to open the gate. So I have to match them up with things the open. to open the gate. Go so whatever symbols on the gate, I have to match up with something in the gate. Makes sense. Six years enslaved in hell, but I watched the Northmen, learnt their ways. I know you did. You listen, when everyone else laughed. My stories with you. And together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. Another voice joins us. She once tried to make them go away. Pretend they 
weren't real. But what good is that? When we are always here. I guess it's the same with heights. You can stand on the edge. Pretend it's going to be okay. But you know that death is near. Waiting for you to make that little slip. another stone the world of the dead is ruled by the giantess Hela daughter of Loki the gods feared her bloodline bad on her mother's side and yet much worse on her father's so as a child the all-father cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness age hardship and self-slaughter in all of the nine worlds only Hela can resurrect the dead to Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed, and with her you must bargain. Bargain with a god to get her man back. Sounds about right. of Hela herself, the half-rotten goddess that walks over Helheim. Whatever horrors lie behind that door, she must find it.
vision of what's to come. Poor Senua. The darkness does not bargain. It does not reason. It is rot. And now it has taken hold. It will spread towards her head, the seed of the soul, until there is nothing left of her. All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. Okay, so the rules are the dark rot will grow each time you fail. So if I die, if the rot reaches Sinua's head, her quest is over. And all progress will be lost. So if I'm halfway into this game and the rot is growing to her head, that means I have to start the game all over again. Which is really crazy and absurd, but I mean, we'll see what happens. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. But for now, at least, she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. say that in the beginning there was nothing but darkness, bitter cold to the north, fiery hot to the south. They say the cold formed ice which melted from the sparks from the south. The power of the darkness gave life to the dripping ice and the first giant was born and was named Emir. The ice continued to drip and the power of the void gave life to it, and it became a cow whose milk fed the giant. That's right, a cow, but you weren't expecting that. We're gonna go with the fire god first. comes from a land older than mankind, and the Northmen call upon his flaming sword to raise their enemies to the ground. Find him, Senua, and spill his blood. She found the wretched old fool on her way back from the wilds. Now cast. Was badly burnt all over. She took pity on him. He was not one for this world. My God, we spoke of his own darkness. Mm -hmm. Senua, we each walk these lands, gazing towards different horizons. Some of us further than others. Your father cannot see what you see, but there is nothing wrong with seeing the world the way you do.
Okay, we got some letters over here on this gate. Okay, and this is where I'm going to end the first ever episode of Penua, or Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, go ahead and give it, it that big thumbs up, and if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on my post notifications so you know when I'm on Tuesdays and Wednesdays for live me Let's Plays, and every Friday for Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice uploads, so... I hope you guys have a good day, and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya!